What's up, Diva? So it's your girl, and I'm back to do another lace frontal. And this is a 12 inch bob, 250% density with a comb and an adjustable strap in the nape and two combs in the front area. So first of all, this unit is pre-plucked and the color of the lace is a medium brown. It's in its natural color. And if I did not mention, it is from a company called Cara or Cara. You guys know that I can botch a name up but you can check them out on AliExpress. They have a lot of affordable lace wigs and hair things and wigs in general, so definitely wanna check them out. This is a natural hairline, but let me tell you guys, for one, I went ahead and did a little bit of extra pre-plucking and I kind of did a little bit too much, but you know what? The way I'm gonna style it is going to be something totally different. I will post their information below for you guys so that way you can follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and as well as that, YouTube. So as you guys see right here, I'm just taking my hot comb and I'm just going to just straighten the front of the hairline so that way it looks pristine, just flawless, it'll lay nice and flat. Now I do have the hot comb up to the highest temperature, which it does only say it is 20 degrees, but in reality it's probably like about 300 degrees. It doesn't get as hot as most, but for $20 from Walmart, you wouldn't expect. So the thing I'm going to do right now as normal is I'm going to take the end of my rat tail comb and I'm just going to just make me some baby hair in the unit. So that way if I do decide to just kind of like brush it back, then you know what? I have a little coverage. The hair is very bouncy and flowy. It doesn't like shed as much as normal. Well, basically, the hair is very bouncy and flowy and it's just a nice short 12 inch bob. So for those of you guys who love bob wigs, then this may just be for you. I like the fact that with a bob, you can definitely change up the style so you don't have to wear it straight. You guys already know how I feel about bobs. I really don't like too many of them straight so I decided I was going to do a little bit something different with this one so as per usual I'm just going to cut some of the hairs off and I'm going to take my new edge brush as you guys see right here it's cute it has a little spatula at the end and I'm just going to use the spatula end just to apply my favorite Dollar Tree mousse and just use the brush portion just to brush the hairs back now I will be changing the baby hairs throughout the video so that way it looks a little bit more natural I really didn't want it to wear it like this but just so that way I can dry the wig and such with the blow dryer, I just left it like that. And this is how I'm definitely going to leave it because it just looked a little bit more natural for me. Now, just to go in and make sure that the wig does lay and apply to my wig, or to my head rather, I'm going to use my Pump It Up Super Hole Hairspray and I'm just going to take my blow dryer and my rat tail comb and I'm going to dry that hair mousse along with the hairspray and that will adhere the wig to my head. So you guys, I don't use glue and I don't use gel because it just leaves a kind of like sticky residue, a messy residue on your wig cap. And also it does take a little bit more work to get out of your hair. Now as you guys see, I decided to switch up my edge brush with just one of my toothbrushes. Um, I'm not really a big fan of that edge baby hair brush, so you know, it is what it is. So now that I went ahead and applied the second side down, I'm going to just style the unit a little bit. I decided I wanted to do something different. I didn't want to wear it straight because, you know, I've done the straight bob. And if I'm going to do a bob, I do like to give it a little pizzazz, you know, a little bit of curl. So I'm going to take my Irresistible Me 8-in-1 wand curling system and I'm just going to use like a different size or shape barrel. Now, as you guys see, I'm just curling it and I'm kind of like twisting the hair around the barrel. Along with that, I'm wrapping the hair around the barrel. This will give me like kinds of like a wavy type of look and texture and it will also give me more value. Now, I did tell you guys it's 250% density, which means it's a nice full bob. I'm not like a huge fan of a thin bob. I like a little bit of hair, you guys know. I like a lot of hair. If you want to wear a wig, then do it big. I'm just saying like, for real, if you want to wear a wig, then definitely you want to do a bit. So I decided to just put these curls in it. I love like the beachy wave type of curls. They're super easy to just style in any type of hair texture. 
All you need to do is kind of like twist the hair and wrap it around the barrel. You can use any type of curling barrel. You don't need to use what I have, but this is one of my favorite curling tool systems. So I definitely would say if you're in the, the need for a curling wand system that has seven interchangeable wands, then you definitely want to check out Irresistible Me. This gets really hot. It goes up to 450 degrees, which I have it on right now. And the hair still remain very soft and bouncy even after curling it and leaving the heat on 450 degrees. The hair is actually super easy to curl. I did not even wash it. It's just straight out the box like this. I did do some pre-plucking, but like I said, I went a little bit overboard on it. But, you know, the way I styled it, you won't even notice it. Now, it is a lace front, so there isn't as much parting as you would think on a lace or a full lace wig. So, you want to keep that in mind. The most parting that you'll get is definitely in the middle, but being that I don't like my wigs in the middle part, especially with the bob, I decided to put it on the side. I didn't use any type of bleach to, yeah, I know, I burnt myself here. And I have the scar to prove it. So as I was saying, I didn't pre-bleach it or anything like that. I just left it natural. And then I decided to use just my pressed powder here in the part so that way it'll look a little bit more natural and it'll blend into my own hair. You want to take your brush and just evenly distribute it. You don't want a lot of powder. If you do have too much powder or concealer or foundation, you can definitely just wipe it away with a wet cloth. I'm just going to just pull apart some of the curls and just retouch some of them up because they did look a little bit limpy. And I'm just going to take my hot comb and I'm just going to take the back of it and smooth the edges down of my frontal right here. For the most part, the wig is nice. For those of you guys who love a nice full bob, you definitely want to check out Cara. Follow Cara's official store on AliExpress and you can get a special coupon and take part in their giveaway activity. On that note, you guys, I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this bob down below. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye, and I love you. Uh, uh,